There, there's, there's, two, um, there's two groups of people in the country who um, have the most self-aggrievement uh, possible and do it under the guise that they are aggrieved because of how much aggrievement other people feel. And that is, of course, um, almost anyone who identifies as conservative or a classical liberal and comedians who, uh, for some reason, can't get booked at uh, colleges anymore or don't, or college students don't like their comedy. Indeed, and so, indeed, of course, indeed. of course, it's not, oh, they don't like my comedy. They don't think I'm funny. It's that society has gone off the rails because I don't get the same amount of laughs at colleges that I used to with my stale material. Um, well, we held this uh, for today because Michael's such a fan of... Uh, the Bodega Boys. I love these guys. But they now have a um, uh, a show on Showtime, right? It's a nightly show. It's be on Showtime. No, it's uh, Thursdays. It's, yeah, it's not. Yeah, oh, it's once, not daily? once a week. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And um, ooh, that would be exhausting. And they uh, so they I, they're on this. Well, I don't. What this is, is this? This is Hot Ones, a complex magazine that, where they eat sort of spicy food and talk. There you go. So uh, here's the Bodega Boys on Hot Ones, um, talking about. PC culture and 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 their comedy is um, not PC. Not <laughs> PC. So for years, you guys have riffed on trending topics on a mm -hmm. hot mic without much of a filter. Mm -hmm. Why do you think you've avoided the problematic police, or at least in a big PR disaster way? Is the key Jesus to just say allegedly and qualify everything that way? Um, I think it's more we self center. Yeah. There are certain things you know that you could have gotten away with saying in 09 that you should not even formally as a sentence in your head. Don't even put it in your drafts. Okay? You know what I'm saying? Don't even, put, don't even try it. If you watch the progression of our comedy, there's certain jokes we used to do that we won't do anymore. Because as we've experienced the world and we've come across different people, we realize that the humor hits differently, that yeah. a certain joke that might have been funny four years ago, like you actually meet a person from this specific group and you're like, oh shit, like I didn't even know that was offensive. Oh. Like, guess we were from the Bronx. It's like, ah-ah, suck my dick and all that shit. But we're not in the crosshairs of PC culture like that because we're not, like, fighting against it. Like, yeah. we, we... We're not, not we're not out there like, oh, PC culture yeah, you can't is say what comedy. You, want anymore. you can't say what you want anymore. Nah, you can say what you want. You just got to be funny about it mm -hmm. and, like, yeah. smart about it and approach it the right way. You and know don't just right? say like, something for shock value. Because exactly. that's what a lot of people do. A lot of people are just like, oh, you're offended. Oh, oh I, 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 I triggered you, Sorry, libtard. Sorry, like, triggered you, libtard. <laughs> you're like, nah. And man, you know, like, we say, and there are people who are selling out arenas doing that. But it's just like, at the end of the day, what's the, what's the expectancy on yeah, that? How long can you do that for? I mean... The it, all of this stuff that they're saying is really fairly basic, but somehow seems to escape the vast majority of. Well, and I shouldn't say the vast majority of comedians. The vast majority of comedians are fine. It's just like, but the the ones that we hear piercing through the biggest complaints. You know, Jerry Seinfeld uh, when he's not driving around, you know, showing off his fleet of cars is complaining that colleges are just they don't like my gay king what's character so funny. anymore like it's just it's unbelievable it's and what's so funny about it though is like on it it but also just shows the the real the misunderstanding of it because i could guarantee you that listening to a bodega boys podcast if one were to listen because i do think that there are uh scolds if you want to use that word and they exist in all quadrants there are there are people who i would say are are lefty squares who are annoying about this stuff. I make no bones about it. There are obviously people who are religious, people who are right wing, people, whatever. And people who have you legitimate to, gripes as well. No? That's not what I'm talking about. But if you listen to Bodega Boys, you will find infinite more grounds to potentially get, uh, you know, bothered by something than anything Jerry Seinfeld has probably done other than you just sort of being like, yeah, he just kind of seems like an asshole. Right? Like, that's what's... It, he's not hitting not because of what the terrain he's going after. He's not hitting because a 19 year old is like, you mean that like eating French toast makes you gay? And that's like so not Louis the 14th. Fun. Like what? Well, <laughs> what, what, not, what did you play? What was it? So you're not allowed to make fun of anybody <laughs> ever. It also depends if it's coming from a place of good faith or bad faith. Right. That's it's partially so much, what they're saying yeah, there. And yeah, they, I think so I think their their on... empathy, their empathy, uh, you know, and where they're coming th from 
comes through. I mean, I, I think that they're, I think one of the reasons, I mean, you know this better than me, Sam, because I didn't, I don't know as much of the show as you, but I think one of the reasons that Howard Stern has kind of survived is because he wasn't like, like <laughs> he was very problematic, whatever the word you want to use, but he didn't seem to have like a kind of malicious dimension to it. Well, it was also, and it was satiric. And there's a certain level of trust that you build with your audience when they feel like they know you and maybe they'll give you the benefit of the doubt. And if you ever do say something that maybe oversteps the line or hurts people's feelings, like you can have the critical distance on yourself to be like, all right, maybe I shouldn't have said that. Right. I don't think the problem is that, um, I don't think that the idea is that people should, um, that people should uh, necessarily self-censor all the time so they never step on a landmine. It's how you react to when you find out that this is a landmine, which is what they're saying. Is they're, like, they're, they and and there's so much context involved, too. <laughs> like, I, I've talked a lot about this with uh, Jay Flores, the comedian and podcaster and friend. Uh, like, so much of it is con contingent on context and on who you are and on where you're coming from like louis ck people used to give him the benefit <laughs> of the doubt and now they don't anymore and there's no going back right and this is not a concept that escapes comedians at all i mean whether it's the 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 broader context that some people you know you go up you see a stand-up you don't necessarily know anything about them other than what they're presenting but you have a you know you, their visual cues um and then there are other you know the context of the jokes and whatnot but the the bottom line is is like this is nothing this is nothing new uh, and the idea that some people find some jokes offensive and some don't on others and if people in society are becoming more aware of the sensitivities of people who are not exactly like them. Like there's always been you've always had to censor to a certain extent, uh, you know, white sensibility or a uh, certain like, you know, narrow uh, sensibility. Um, it's just that it was one that was widely accepted and unchallenged. And to a certain extent, the sensibility is broadened that people are just more sensitive to what other people are sensitive about. And so, you know, w the, the idea that it, this is in some way like inhibiting comedy, this is a perfect example of why that's not the case.